Chapter 6.4 exercises 7 through 14. This section has to do with polar coordinates and in these exercises 7 through 14 plot the point with the given polar coordinates. And here we have, uh, we're going to go on to problem 7, 9, 11, and 13. Here we have the polar coordinate pair 3 comma 4 pi over 3. Well 4 pi over 3 now uh, this, this graph paper, a virtual graph paper I have, is in 10 degree increments. And so we have a, that'd be, this one over here would be pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2 on top, uh, 2 pi over 3. And this would be 5 pi over 6, pi, this would be 7 pi over 6, and this would be 4 pi over 3 right here. So that's going to be analogous to, I believe, 240 degrees. And you can work it out. If you want to take this 4 pi over 3 and convert that 2 degrees to really see if you understand what's going on, you can multiply by 180 over pi, and you would get uh, 240 degrees. So that's going to be our rotation angle. And so our angle is going to be from standard position with this ray out to the right along the x-axis. And then we're going to be wrapping around this way counterclockwise. And we'll say this is 4 pi over 3 of an angle rotation and we keep on coming here all the way to right here and our uh, so that's the angle and so we're going to go along this ray here is where it is and we're going to go all the way up to 3. So 1, 2, 3. And so our point is going to be right here on the outside of the circle. Point in red. So there it is. There's the point. That's going to be 3, comma, 4 pi over 3. There it is plotted. Okay, the next odd number problem we're going to look at is number nine. In this case, we're given the polar coordinate pair negative one comma two pi over five. Now, two pi over five is not a standard uh, unit, sixteen point unit circle measure of an angle. So let's find out where that is. And if we just take 2 pi over 5, and we multiply that by 180 degrees, 180 over pi, we're going to get 360 over 5 degrees. Well, that's going to be equal to 72 degrees. So it'd be like an angle rotation of 72 degrees. And for where that is, these are 10 degree increments. So we have 30, 60, and so 72 is going to be right about here. So this is going to be 5 pi, or 2 pi over 5, 2 pi over 5 right here. Okay, and so, and we're given an angle, or a radius of negative one. So the angle goes all the way up to, goes all the way up here, and rotates. Kind of close. And so it's gonna be a two, 
pi over 5 rotation from the, the right in standard position. So the rotation is, is 2 pi over 5 counterclockwise, but here we have negative 1. So for negative 1, we have to go the opposite direction here. And to go the opposite direction, we would come this way. We continue across the, the circle. It's going to be about right, right here where I'm drawing this clumsy looking dashed line. Okay, so going to be in the, if, if these circle rings are one uh, unit apart, we're going to come right over here to negative 1, which is going to the other side. So this point, which I've plotted pretty largely in red, is, uh, that represents the polar coordinates, negative 1, comma, 2 pi over 5. So that's, that's what that looks like. Let me get that 2 pi over 5 looking a little better. Make a little more distinctive too if I can. There we go. Looks a little better. So that's problem number nine. And the next one we're going to be looking at is the odd number problem 11. And we have 2, 30 degrees. That's our polar coordinate pair. And these these angles represent 30 degrees and so I'm going to come to the right from the origin in standard position because in standard position that's where all angles start to the right alongside on the x-axis there that is and we're going to rotate 30 degrees that's going to be counterclockwise so Draw a dashed line there. I'm going to say 30 degrees. It's going to be that's the rotation angle, and there we are. Okay, and it says uh, two, the radius of two. So we're going to go two. That's one two. So right here where I'm marking in red is going to be the polar coordinate pair 2 comma 30 degrees okay, so that there it is 2 comma 30 degrees and we're going to go on to our last problem our last odd number problem which is number 13 we have negative 2 comma 120 degrees so that's our polar coordinate pair and we start just with, as we have for all of these by putting a ray to the right this is our initial side of our angle and our terminal side we go to 120 degrees well 120 degrees that's kind of where we started our first one no it's not it's 240 but anyway it's going to be right here so here is 240 degrees, okay, or excuse me, 120 degrees. And so we go 120 degrees right here, and we go from the initial side to the terminal side, okay. Now, we have a radius of negative 2. So that means we have to go the other way across the origin and go down to negative 2. Well, negative 1, negative 2, we're going to be right here. This point in red. And that's going to be the polar coordinate pair negative 2, comma, 120 degrees. So to me, the to me this is pretty easy. Negative two, or 
of 20 degrees. This, this exercise is pretty easy, except for one thing, this whole idea of, the, of a negative radius. So that negative radius just takes that coordinate pair that we're trying to plot the opposite direction from where the terminal side of the angle is. In other words, the opposite side from 120 degrees. So that's going to be 120 degrees plus 180. So that's going to be at, at 300 degrees in standard position that this point finds itself. Anyway, good luck on all your even-numbered problems as a demonstration of your learning, and thanks for viewing.